Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Welcome. Nice weekend. I had a nice weekend. Oh, really? That's very yes. nice. Very nice. That's very good. Did you rest? Descansaron? Hey. <laughs> Did you rest on the weekend? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> yes, for sure. Okay, that's very nice that you had the opportunity to rest on your weekend, right? Very good. So today for sure we are going to be working on the last topics of the week, right? And we are going to work a little bit on uh, the different uh, ING forms, right? We're going to work on ING forms. We're going to talk a little bit about the time and those are the uh, different classes that we are missing. I hope that many of you have finished the platform already. Yo creo que ya muchos de ustedes ya van por finalizar la, la plataforma. Eh, de repente hay algunos que todavía nos faltan, unos que otras secciones. Pero espero que ya la vayan terminando todos. Luis Eduardo, ¿en qué eh, avance vamos en la plataforma? Finish. Finished. Done. Linda. Finish. Finished. Carla Lizat. Finished. Finished. Juan Antonio. I did it. You finished. Marlon Mendoza. Finished. Finished. Leticia. Finish. Eh, Marta Jacqueline. Finish. You finished too. Yeah. So we are going to be checking on the other classmates when they connect on how, uh, what is the performance that they are having on, uh, on their platform, right? For sure. Uh, for this uh, time, we are missing only these four days of the week. And on Thursday, we have uh, uh, our presentations. So uh, I sent you on the chat, les envié al chat, eh, un poquito de cómo va a ser la presentación, qué es lo que vamos a hacer ese día. And uh, that is basically what we are going to be doing on, on that day. Okay, so welcome to your class. It has been a big pleasure for me uh, to be waiting for you during the weekend and for sure to serve you once again. Today, maybe in some of, you, of the parts of El Salvador, it's raining a lot, right? But let's try to be focused on the class. So welcome to all the other ones that are joining. I have, let me see. Hello, Carla Stephanie, how are you? Hello, teacher. Okay, it's a pleasure to have you here. And hello, Mr. Jorge Alberto, how are you? Thank you. Hello. Did you finish working on the platform, Jorge and Carlita? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Very good job. So remember, uh, as I always say, the class agreements, right? Practice your English as much as possible. Ask, ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on during the whole session. Attend all the sessions on time, right? Mostly these last ones. And for sure, participate as much as possible and collaborate with your friends in the WhatsApp group. And in any case, if there is like anybody who needs help, for sure, let's motivate the person to continue working. I am going to send a message to your friends for them to hurry up. And I am going to send it on the chat. What time is it right now, people? We were kind of checking on the on the time the other class. What time is it right now? It's three past eight. It's three, three past, past eight. Uh-huh. 
eight past three. Eight past three. <laughs> It's 8.03, right? It's 8.03. PM. PM, right? For sure, right? PM, because we make specific things that we are at night, right? PM. Something important when we are saying about the time, it's that in most of the cases, people say it's 8 o'clock PM. You can say it's 8 o'clock or it's 8 PM, right? But if you say it's 8 o'clock PM sharp, so it's in the in punto, 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 punto. And it is not really necessary to say it like that. So you say it's 8 o'clock or it's 8 p.m. It's 8 o'clock at night, right? For you to have it clear. And for sure, as you can see here, I have a little maps that it's for the, for the different time zones. In how many hours do you add uh, depending on the, on the place, right? What places... What places or what countries can you see in the map? Can you mention some of the of the cities or the places that you have on the map? Some of them that maybe you recognize? Mexico City. Mexico City, good. What else? New York City. New York, very good. What else do you see in the picture? Tokyo, very good. Sydney. Sydney, right? Sydney. Okay, you have Bangkok, Tokyo, London, right? Moscow, Moscow right? You have Moscow. Moscow. Riot, Warsaw, Casablanca, Cape Town, Sao Paulo, Brasilia, San Juan in Puerto Rico, right? Mexico City and Vancouver. Here, for example, you can see that depending on the time and depending on the place where the people are located, uh, it's the different timing that we have to add to the different days. For example, here from El Salvador to Sydney, we have more than 12 hours difference, right? Because in Sydney, maybe it's already Tuesday afternoon because we have more than 12 hours of difference big uh, depending on the different times areas that we are located right so uh, that's why you have different numbers here and they mention how many hours of difference we have with the different places depending on how far we are from the place so based on this one now that we know this one we're going to go to the next slide that it's a little conversation <clears throat> between debbie and john here I have, it says, hello, hello, it's like, uh, buena, hello, hi Dave, hi Debbie, this is John, I'm calling from Australia, Australia, I'm in a conference in Sydney, remember, oh, all right, what time is it there, it's 10 p.m., and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right, yes, four o'clock in the morning, 4 a.m. I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. It's like, ya me despertaste de todas maneras. <laughs> I'm awake now, right? So in this case, we have a lot of hours of difference. How many hours of difference do we have? If it is 10 p.m. in Sydney, but it's 4 a.m. in Los Angeles. Six hours. Six How many hours? Six, six hours. hours. Six hours, right? Because it's four in the morning and it's 10 p.m. in Los Angeles. So here, you are going to be John and I am Debbie who was sleeping. Hello. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. This is John. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm, Hi, I'm, I'm calling, calling from, from Australia. Australia. Uh, Australia. Australia. <laughs> I am, I am at a conference in Sydney. Remember? Ah, all right. Uh -huh. What time okay. is it there? It is 10, 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. They're in Los Angeles, right? Angeles, right. Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, oh, I am really sorry. sorry. 
That's okay. I'm awake now. <laughs> Imagine poor Debbie was falling there, was very sleepy and everything. She was sleeping and all of a sudden he started calling on the phone, right? Four in the morning and 10 p.m. So what is he doing? What is John doing? What the... He is watching. Uh -huh. He is okay. Right now he's watching the the watch. Right, he is watching uh, the watch. He is watching the watch. And he is talking. Calling. Talking. He, he's talking or calling Debbie. Right, but what is he doing in Sydney? What is he doing in Sydney? He's working. Right, he is working. What is he doing? What is he doing in Sydney? He is working, but specifically? He is... What is he doing? Conference. He is attending a conference. Está asistiendo a una conferencia, right? He is attending a conference. And what is Debbie doing? Or what was Debbie doing? <laughs> because she's not she doing anything. Was sleeping. She was sleeping, she right? Was sleeping. And right now, what is she doing? She is talking with Debbie. With John. With John, right? She's talking with John. And she is looking at at the time, right? She's looking the at the clock. In this case, this is a clock, okay? This is clock. Este es watch. Clock, specifically, this is an alarm clock. Este es un reloj de alarma, right? An alarm clock. Lo que ponemos en la pared son clock, only clock. The one that you use on your hand is watch. And this is an alarm clock. Okay. Marta and Juan, can you help me with the conversation? Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling. I'm calling from Australia. Australia. I'm on a conference in Sydney. Remember? All oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Thank you very much, right? That's okay. I'm awake now, right? It's like, gracias, <laughs> que lindo. <laughs> and he only called to say that he was in the conference. Imagine. <laughs> Linda and Luis Eduardo, go ahead. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I, I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time, what time is there? It's 10 p.m. Um, it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four I am. Oh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. Okay, I am awake now. That's okay. I'm awake now, right? What time? What time is it there? What time is it there? That's the question. What time is it there? The last time, Rodrigo and Carla Lisette. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's at 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, really? Uh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I wake now. 
<laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I, I like <clears throat> I like the pronunciation. It was like that's okay. <laughs> it's like uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm awake now. Now let's see. We're going to have we're going to have Mr. Jorge and Maria Guadalupe. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Jorge, you say. Hi, Jorge, this is Maria Guadalupe. ¿Qué se me hizo, Maria Guadalupe? Ahí está. No le diga Debbie, dígale. Hi, Jorge, ahorita sí. I'm calling from Australia. Okay, we can we can listen to her. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Continue, Jorge. Perdón, teacher. Perdón, teacher. No la escucho. A María Guadalupe, creo que se nos queda el audio. Sí, creo que tengo mala señal. Okay, la por la lluvia. Vamos a vamos a buscar aquí quién nos auxilia. Okay, let me see. Catherine Portillo, help me with Jorge. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I am calling from Australia. Australia? The microphone, Jorge. <laughs> Apagaste el microphone. Um, I am at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is there? It's 10 p.m. And it's four o'clock. Here in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. Four I am. Oh, I am really sorry. Thanks. Okay. I am awake now. <laughs> That's okay. You say I'm awake now. Thank you very much. Thanks to all the volunteers. Very good job. Very good job. Very nice. So here, as you can see, for sure, they are using the different moments of time, right, to express uh, to express the moment that they are living, right? It's four o'clock in the morning. Right now in El Salvador, it's 8.17, right? Or 17 past eight. Or uh, 17 minutes after eight, right? It's 817. It's the clearest way to say it. 817. What time is it? It's 817. Right? Tell me, what time, what time people do you enter to your work? What time do you enter to work? At eight o'clock. So you say I enter at and then you give me the time at eight o'clock who enters in a different time what time do you enter to your job i enter at seven o'clock at seven o'clock right i enter at 6 30 in the morning what time do you enter to your work Another, another person who has a different schedule? Uh -huh. Any other person who has a different schedule? And what time do you finish working? I finish my laboral work in at 3.30. At 3.30, hey, how nice. So you say, I finished, I finish working, I finish working at, and then you eh, give me the time, right? I finish working at four. I finish working at 4 p.m. What time do you finish working? Sure. I yes. finish working at four o'clock. At four o'clock, right? Very good. Or you can say at 4 p.m. That's correct. Catherine, do you work? Catherine Portillo, do you work? 
Yes or no? Creo que el micrófono no me lo ha activado. Let me see. Okay, let's ask then Linda. Linda Beatriz, do you work? Yes, I do. What time do you enter to your job? Uh, seven o'clock. And what time do you finish? Uh, mm, seven o'clock. At seven, at 7 p.m., from 7 to 7. Uh, 7 p.m. There you go. Okay, uh, Leticia Aide, what time do you enter to your work? I am not a teacher. You don't work. Hey, that's nice. So, <laughs> what time do you wake up? Um, I wake up at um, 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. Good. That's very yeah. good. Okay, so based on this, with this information that we have, in the previous uh, time, I was giving a little overview about the time, right? All the ones that are here, from here to here, are past. And all the ones from here to here are two, right? And I have here a couple of examples. Can you read the examples, please? Let's start here. It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. It's one on five. It's five. It's five, five, five after, one. after one. It's one. It's one fifteen. One fifteen. It's a quarter one after, after one. one. It's one. It's one thirty. Thirty. One thirty. 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 One. It's one forty. It's 20. It's 22 to 2. It's 20 to 2, right? 20 it's, to 2. 20 to 2. It's 20 to 2. It's 20 to 2. It's 20 to 2. Okay, it's, it's 1.45. Okay, it's 1.45. It's a quarter to 2. It's a quarter to 2, right? A quarter, a quarter is like un cuarto para, right? It's a quarter to 2 or it's a quarter <laughs> past, right? So you can say it's a quarter past or it's a quarter after. And the two of them are correct. Here, for example, you can say it's a quarter past one in this case, right? It's a quarter past one, okay? And the time is going to be correct or it's a quarter after one and it is going to be correct as well. In this one, it's 105, 105. In this case, ¿en qué otro momento habíamos ocupado O para reemplazar cero? Fun numbers. With the fun numbers, right? With the fun numbers, perfect. So here we use it again. Aquí lo volvemos a ocupar. So it's 105 to replace zero. Son las la una, cero, cinco. I am very bad with the numbers. It's 105, <laughs> right? It's You cannot say it's 105, right? It's 105. La una, 105, right? So there you go. I am going to open here. I am going to open here the board. Here, here, here. And I am going to write different times, okay? I am going to write different times and on your notebook, you are going to write the correct form of them, okay? I, that's a very curious number. <laughs> to write the next one okay I can see I am going to one. okay I am going to I am going to to clear it out in a moment okay uh, 
Okay. I am going to share it in a moment, right? Here. Okay. Let me just finish here. I am writing them. And let me share it in a moment. And here you go. I am going to make it a little bit bigger. Wait, too much. It's going to be a little smaller. Okay. Can you see them now? La pueden ver ahora? Yes. Yes. Okay, what I need you to do, what I need you to do is that I need you to choose five of them and to write the form of, a, like write the written form of it. For example, here, I am going to say it's eight, 30, four, in the morning, right? So that is the form of this one, right? It's 8.34 in the morning. Then I need you to write five. Escojan cinco de todas estas. Escojan cinco de todas estas que están aquí. Y las hacemos en el cuaderno. Al chat vamos a enviar dos. Ok, con el número y la forma escrita. Go ahead, my dear students. Let's work. Choose five and on the chat you are going to send two. Van a escribir cinco y al chat van a enviar Dos, ya sea el chat de WhatsApp o al chat de Zoom. Okay, the last one it's called noon. Noon is al mediodía. And so you say it's 12 noon. Okay, we have the first one on the chat. Let's see. Very good, Luis Eduardo. Very nice. Send the next one. Good. We have one in WhatsApp as well. In the morning, Rodrigo. Remember, in the morning. At is only for the night. At night. Todos los demás van in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Y con night ocupamos at night.
It's 6.30 in the morning, very good. Very good, I receive another one. Very nice. It's 9.01 at night, very good. It's 12 o'clock, good. Seven past 10 in the morning. It's 7.10 in the morning. Oh, Jennifer has problems to enter. Okay. Very good. Send your examples. Send your examples. Very good. Teacher. Yes. Me podría repetir eh, cómo se dice de la noche. The night. Ah, In the night. At night. Okay. At night. Here, here. I am going to write it here. Se lo voy a escribir aquí. Okay. We use in the morning. We use in the afternoon. We use in the evening. But we say at night, okay? Okay, you use at night. And with night is with the only one that you say. No podemos decir at the morning, at the afternoon. Sino que con todos los demás jugamos in, and only with night we use at. At night. Y cuando es noon, teacher? Ah, with noon, you don't use anything. Cuando es mediodía, you don't say anything. You don't say at noon. You say noon. Solo, solo eso. And you say also midnight. Right? It's 12 midnight. Decimos que son las 12 de la medianoche. And you can also say it's midday. Podemos solo decir, sin decir la hora. Sin decir la hora decimos, it's midday or it's midnight, right? ¿Y a qué nos referimos aquí? It's midday or it's midnight, decimos que es mediodía o medianoche. And you don't say, it's, you can say, and you can add, it's 12 midnight, pero ya sabemos que la medianoche es a las 12. Or you can say, it's 12 midday, sería como hoy lógico, como el subir para arriba, ¿verdad? It's 12 midday, it will be like uh, redundant. So you say, it's midday, it's midnight. And you know que es medianoche o mediodía. That's another form to say it. Very good, thank you for the corrections, very nice. It's noon, very good. It's noon as well. Here, you can say, it's noon. It's noon. Thank you very much. I got it. It's half past six in the morning. It's 25 past three in the morning. Very good job. Very good job, my dear class. Fantastic examples, the ones that you are sharing. I am going to wait just for the last ones. Envíenme siempre ahí los últimos ejemplos que nos quedan, que nos faltan. For us to have it clear. Okay. Done. Okay, now that we finish working on those examples, espero que hayan terminado con los ejemplos, I am going to keep on with the next part. <clears throat> In this part, the, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep sharing here. And I have 
specific times. Can you help me to read them? Can you help me to read them? How will you read this one? ¿Cómo leeríamos este? How will you read that one? Uh -huh. It's 4 o'clock p.m. It, it is 4 o'clock. Four, four it's 4, it right? Four, no four, podemos tener 4. <laughs> it's 4 o'clock. It's 4 it's it's four, four four o'clock. Okay. If, if we have this time that we know that it is p.m., right? If we know that it is p.m., we are going to have it here, for example, in this case, you say it's 4 p.m. or it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, right? It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon or it's 4 p.m. Both of them are correct. What about the next one? It is 15 past to nine. No. 15 past nine, that's good. Past, ni past night a.m. Okay, it's 15 past nine a.m., right? Or in the morning. Mm -hmm. What about this one? It is eight. It is eight o'clock. Uh -huh. Or it's nine. Okay. Uh, ahí nos quedamos como, como claros. Podemos decir, it's eight p.m. It's mm -hmm. eight at night or it's eight o'clock. Okay, it's eight. it's eight at night. What about this one? It is, it is a quarter, quarter, quarter to 11. A quarter to 11. A quarter to 11 p.m. What yeah. about this one? Is, it is health and past 3.30 p.m. That's good. Three. You can say half past 3 or the most half. common 3.30. 3.30. What about this one? It is, it is 6 p.m. at night. It's 6 p.m., right? 6 p.m. or 6, 6, 6 in the afternoon or 6 p.m. at night. And the last one? Is it is 12. 12 it's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. This one is noon or midnight? No. Noon. It's noon. noon, right? It's noon. Very good. It is noon. Excellent job, my class my dear class. Let's continue working here. I have here all the examples, right? All the examples of uh, the times, right? It's two o'clock, it's five past two, it's 10 past two, it's a quarter past two, it's 20 past two, it's 25 past two. Remember that the time is divided in fives, right? Cinco minutos de diferencia. In this one, it's half past two, it's 25 to three, it's 20 to three, it's a quarter to three, it's 10 to three, and it's five to three, right? And this is what I was explaining. We use at plus time when giving the time of a specific event. The class starts at nine o'clock. Cuando damos una hora específica, decimos, ¿a qué hora comienza? At nine, at seven at three, right? You use at. And in this one, how do you answer when the question is, what time is it? It is two, it is four, right? Ahí ocupamos it. Estos son okay. algunos resultados. Okay. <laughs> Primero y un gecko y después el, el Google. That's nice. <laughs> el, el gecko pregunto. What time is it? You answer with it is. It is 8.30, it is 8.40, it is 8.40 p.m. right now. I am going to call the attendance, okay? Antes que nada suceda, voy a pasar lista. Because it's 8.40, me pasé 10 minutos. Oh my God. My dear class, y ustedes que no me acuerdan. Teacher, la asistencia. Okay, I am going to call the attendance right now. And remember, if you listen to your name, say here or present. Si alguien lo ve en cámara, yo no lo alcanzo a ver porque estoy con el documento. Dígame, ahí está, teacher, está levantando la mano. Okay, Jennifer Tatiana. Ah, Jennifer, 
I think she was the one on the chat, right? Creo que ya nos escribió al chat. Yes. Okay. Let's see, Jorge Alberto. Present. The next one. Jorge, Jose Alexander. Jose Alexander. Not here today. Josue Mejia. Mr. Josue Mejia Martinez. Juan Antonio Chavez. Juan Diego Mejia. Carla Lizette Martinez. I'm here. Carla Nicole Hueso. Carla Nicole. Not here. Carla Stephanie. Present. Catherine Judith. Catherine Judith. Okay, let's continue. Catherine Paola. Katia Dalila. Leticia Aide. Present. Linda Beatriz. Present. Lucía Fernanda. Present. Luis Eduardo. I'm here. Very good. Manuel Alfredo. María Elena. Present. Thank you. María Guadalupe. Present. María Teresa. Present. María Antonio. Ok. Thank you, Nelson, for the sentences. Marlon José. Present. Marta Jacqueline. Present. Miguel Leonidas. Nelson Rodimiro. Noemi Abigail. Noemi. Norma Guadalupe. Present. Patricia Maricela. Eh, Rodrigo Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. And Rosa Alba. Que no vino. Ya no vino. Cuántos niños que no vienen a clase. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve missing. Twelve. Okay. No, thirteen. Okay, 13 students are missing. Thank you very much for uh, the attendance. Let's continue then. Well, here, this is what we were doing. So as you can see, we have different forms to say the time, right? But the one that fits you better is the one that you can use. Si a ustedes les sirve más decirlo de la forma normal, it's 220, it's 340, it's 350, 345. That's correct, right? And here I have some other examples, right? It's 625, right? That's the normal form. It's 805, it's 911, it's 230, right? And if you want to use it, si quieren usarlo con paz y tú, también está correcto. It's 25 to three, it's 20 past 11, it's 18 past four, and it's nine to nine. It's one to three, it's one to three. One minute to three. <clears throat> and in here, I have some other examples, right? And here I have the times. What time is it in the first picture? ¿Qué hora es aquí? It's... It's 20 after two. two it's 20. 20 after two, it's 2.20. That's pretty good. What about this one? It's 10, it's 10, two, it's seven. ten to 7. It's 10 to 7, it's, right? It's 7.50. It's 7.50. Very good job. What about this one? It's quarter, it's quarter, quarter nine. nine. It's a quarter to 9. It's 15 to 15. 9. Or it's 
8.45. What about this one? It's, it is... Five past eleven. Five past eleven. Five past eleven. Ajá, ya les iba a regañar que ahí no dice tú. Y aquí, it's eleven o five. What about this one? It's fifteen past three, or it's three fifteen. And the last one, here you have three options. It's fifteen past three. 15 past 3. And what about the last one? Aquí tenemos tres opciones. It's 3 past 4. It's 30 past 4. It's 12 past 4. It's 4. Sorry. 4.30. 4 4.30. Good. It's 4.30. It's 4.30. And in this one. This is what I was explaining before, and this is the last part of this topic. What is the first example, Marta Jacqueline? ¿Me ayudas a leerlo? It's 7 o'clock in the morning, or it's 7 a.m. Very good. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, or it's 7 a.m. No podemos decir, it's 7 a.m. in the morning, because it's two times morning. Let's see. Carla Stephanie, help me to read the next one. Uh, it's 12 o'clock, it, it's 12 p.m., it's noon. It's noon, very good. Maria Elena, read the next one. ¿Cuál me tocaría el de las 12, teacher? Okay, wait. In this one, you have to say it's four, el tercero. Este. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. It's for uh, it's the afternoon. It's for uh, you say it's it, four o'clock. Aquí lo tenemos. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's uh, five. Um, este, me lo alcanza a ver. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. It's Is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 4 p.m. It's 4 uh, o'clock. It's the afternoon. It's uh, 4. 4 p.m. Very good. Rodrigo, the next one. Hi, teacher. Hello. Ajá, siempre lo hayo vagando, fíjese. <laughs> Okay, 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 on the way. <laughs> Aha, welcome back. It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock in the evening. It's seven p.m. o'clock. It's seven p.m. So let's say it's seven p.m. Okay. okay. The next one, Leticia. It is ten o'clock at night or it is ten p.m. Very good. And the last one, everybody, please. It's midnight, right? It's midnight. Very good job. So remember, in the morning, está bien. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Se pueden usar los dos, pero no podemos decir it's seven o'clock am in the morning. No, por favor. We cannot use the three because that will be redundant. And that will be unnecessary, right? And in this one, what will be the correct form? What will be the correct form of this one? It says, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's nine o'clock in the evening. We have, it's 9 p.m. PM. What will be the correct form of the next one? It's eight, eight, eight o'clock in, in the morning. In morning. In morning. It's 8 a.m. a.m. Very good. What about the next one? It's 12 o'clock at night. It is? It is 12 p.m. Very good job. And the last one, number four? It is it's 3 in the afternoon. 
in the afternoon. It is? It is, it is 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Very good. Now let's go with the next ones. What about these ones? Number five. It's 3 a.m. It is 3 in the morning. It is 3 in the morning, right? 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Very good. What about the next one? It's it is 6 p.m. o'clock. It's 6 o'clock at night. 6 o'clock in the evening. In the evening. And what about this one? It's 4 p.m. In the evening. In the afternoon. In the evening es como entre las 6 a las 8. Eso sería como el evening. 4 p.m. It's 4 uh, o'clock in the afternoon. And the last one? It's 12, 12, 12 p.m. It is 12? Oh, it's 12 o'clock. Oh, it is it's 12, 12 noon. It is noon. noon. No. It's noon. Oh, it's it's noon. noon. Very good. It's mediodía, right? It's noon. Okay, now I am going to go over the last exercise that we are going to cover today. I am going to explain a little bit of the changing rules for the ING forms, okay? Este es nuestro último tema, el present continuous, pero así como los verbos cambian en segunda persona, eh, para plurales y todo, igual para eh, INGs, para present continuous, cambia. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. When you have a verb in the present continuous, it means that the action is taking place at the moment of talking, right? You have it, that is the normal verb. You can say, for example, I eat breakfast, right? Si decimos I eat breakfast, ¿a qué me refiero? Estoy comiendo. No, I eat breakfast. Estoy desayunando. No, I eat breakfast. Yo desayuno, right? In general. But if I say, I am eating breakfast, I am eating breakfast, ¿a qué me refiero? Yo estoy comiendo. Exactly. What is the difference between the two of them? I eat breakfast in general, every day, every morning, right? Eso lo hago todos los días, como desayuno. But if in the morning I am like this, you say like, I am eating on the moment, right? I don't have anything, it's just for example, okay? <laughs> Solar para el ejemplo. I am eating breakfast, right? In this case, I can say I am eating, it is not breakfast because of the time, I am eating dinner, right? I am eating dinner. Pues ya por la hora ya no puede ser breakfast. But, well, depending, right? Hay restaurantes que sí. All the day. I am eating dinner. So in this case, the rule for this one, you only add ing. For the ones that finish in e, like dance, you say I am dancing. Ahí borramos la e y ponemos ing. Write, writing, write, writing. For the ones that uh, finished in W, in X, and in Y, you don't double the consonant. You say snowing, fixing, playing, right? And if the verb ends in IE, si termina en IE, se cambia por Y, ING, right? Die, dying, lie, lying, tie, tying. Right? Tie. Tying. And that's the form of the change for the present continuous. I have all the rules. In this case, if you have consonant, vowel consonant, si tienen vocal, consonante, vocal, uh, no, sorry, consonante, vocal, consonante, you have to double the last consonant. Ahí se hace la segunda consonante, se pone dos veces para hacer el presente continuous. Cut, cutting, run, running, stop, stopping, right? And you might say, pero ahí teacher tiene dos consonantes, vocal y consonante. Stop, in this case, 
the first two, these count as one vowel and the consonant. The consonant vowel letter, right? You have the different forms. In British English, you say equaling. In normal English, you say equaling. Traveling, con doble L, is the British English. Y traveling con una L is the American English. Controlling, con doble L, is the British. Y controlling eh, is igual en American. Okay? So you have the two forms here. And they are correct, both of them. Ambas están correctas. The last syllable is a stress, right? Begin, beginning, double N. Forget, forgetting, double, three, uh, double T, and submit, submitting, double T at the end, right? So this is the case on how you change the verb. It is important that when we use the ING forms for present continuous, you use the forms of the verb to be, right? For example, here, I have some examples. What is the question that we have here? ¿Quién me ayuda a leer la pregunta? What are you doing? What are, What are you doing? You doing? What are you doing? ¿Qué significa esta pregunta? Estás haciendo. What are you doing? And he says? I am I'm cooking. cooking. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Read the conversation, please. Lea Hi, ustedes. Go ahead. Um, hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. I am cooking. Where are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. Hungry. What are you making? Pizza. 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 Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Hungry. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Pizza. No. And it says, "What are? You, why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Now I am getting hungry. Important. When you use the verb to be, right? You need to accompany the verb to be also in the ing forms. Why are you cooking now? I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Now I am getting hungry. If, for example, I uh, take the phone and I do this, da, 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 da. what is the teacher doing right now? What is the teacher doing? Talking. The teacher is? Talking. Talking on the phone, right? She's talking on the phone. What is the teacher doing? And let me see, I am going to get another thing. She's reading. reading. She's reading, right? She's, She's reading. reading. She's reading. What is the teacher doing? Taking. She's drinking. She's drinking. Drinking. Drinking is esto. Taking. Uh, Grabbing, right? Uh, drinking is when you put it drinking. in and, and you put the liquid in your body. Right? She's drinking. She's drinking. If you She's see, drinking. for example, okay, I am going to stop sharing. I am going to stop sharing. Jorge, do an activity. Do an activity. Any activity. Vamos a ver. What is Jorge doing? Ay, la, la envidia. <laughs> What is Jorge doing? He is? He is drinking. He's drinking, drinking what? Water. Drinking water, right? Marlon, do an activity. Cualquier actividad. Marlon, Marlon, Marlon. Go ahead. Ay, everybody's drinking. Uh -huh. He's yeah. drinking. He's drinking. Maria Teresa, do an activity. También. Ajá. She is? What is Maria Teresa doing? 
she is listening. 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 listening listening to music, to music. Right? she is listening to music juan antonio do an activity ha huh. he is uh, writing texting texting or texting, texting. to <laughs> she is she he is Texting or he is chatting, okay? So tomorrow we are going to keep working on present continuous, okay? Así que los mando a repasar, los mando a investigar un poquito más acerca del uso de present continuous. Have a beautiful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Take Thank care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.